The AH-1W Super Cobra attack helicopter was developed by Bell for the U.S. Marine Corps USMC. It is an advancement from the AH-1T and follows the general design of the AH-1 Cobra helicopter. The Super Cobra was adopted by the USMC in 1986 and remains in active service. It played a role during the Persian Gulf War, with a total of 48 AH-1W helicopters deployed during the conflict. These helicopters were responsible for the destruction of 97 tanks, 104 armored personnel carriers, 16 bunkers, and two anti-aircraft sites. Remarkably, not a single USMC helicopter was lost during the war. The primary function of the AH-1W Super Cobra is to provide close-fire support for amphibious assault and subsequent land operations. It also serves as an escort for transport helicopters carrying troops. Featuring a slim fuselage and a cockpit resembling that of a fighter aircraft, the Super Cobra houses the pilot in the rear seat and the co-pilot slash gunner in the front seat. The co-pilot slash gunner controls an array of weapons mounted on lateral stub wings or under the nose, while the front seat also boasts a full set of flight controls, all surrounded by armor protection. Designed for both day and night operations, the AH-1W Super Cobra boasts upgraded avionics, engines, and weaponry compared to its predecessor. It is equipped with a night targeting system incorporating a forward-looking infrared, FLIR, low-light TV camera, laser rangefinder, and auto-track system. Propelled by two General Electric T700 GE 401 turboshaft engines, each producing 1,725 shop, the Super Cobra can continue flying even if one engine fails or sustains damage. Its agility is impressive, aided by simple yet sturdy landing skids instead of a complex retractable undercarriage. A turret positioned under the helicopter's nose houses a three-barrel 20mm cannon with 750 rounds of ammunition, capable of firing at a rate of 675 rounds per minute. Controlled by the co-pilot slash gunner, the turret can pivot in various directions. The Super Cobra can also carry additional minigun pods on stub wings. The helicopter is additionally armed with Hellfire or TOW anti-tank guided missiles and has the ability to carry both types simultaneously. It also features unguided rocket pods, cluster munitions, various bombs, AIM-9 Sidewinder and AIM-92 Stinger short-range air-to-air missiles, and AGM-122 Sidearm anti-radiation missiles. The option for AGM-65 Maverick air-to-ground missiles is available. Fuel is stored in two fuselage fuel cells, and up to four external fuel tanks can be added for extended range. Variant-wise, the AH-1Z Viper, introduced in 2000 and adopted by the U.S. Marine Corps in 2010, represents a more recent iteration. Notable features include a four-bladed rotor that reduces vibrations by up to 70% and significantly enhances flying characteristics. Numerous other improvements have been made. Several AH-1W Super Cobras are undergoing upgrades to the AH-1Z standard. This version is projected to remain in service well into the 21st century, 